Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, we've got another unboxing for you today. I know it's been a while, and I've got an update video for that soon, but today we're going to look at this. The Sony, the Handycam, also known as the model number for the FDR AX100, most people just call it the AX100, also known as the Sony 4K video camera. So, shall we see what's inside the box? Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Right, so here it is. So you just kind of got your camera on the top with your model number on the side. On the side of it there just kind of shows you some accessories you can get. So you can get like a bigger battery, a microphone, a bag for it, etc. Jumping on to the back of it, it's got your main specifications. So it's got kind of like got Wi-Fi built into it. You can control it. NFC for one-touch pairing. The biggest one is the 4K, but as we all know, it does 1080p as well. I don't know if I'm going to use this for much 4K. Um, I've kind of bought it purely for the fact that I wanted a new camcorder but I wanted one of the best I could possibly get for video like an actual quality and this from what I can see performs awesome it's got the Bion, the Bion X, the XMRR, Triluminous, Play Memories the new format with regards to so you can do 4K up to 60 megabits per second I think it is the main specification of these ones here so you've got a 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor the 18 times on 24 times digital zoom now forget about those, it's got a 12 times optical zoom built into it, which is what I'll use it for anything. Um, 29, 29mm wide angle lens, and it does MP4 dual video recording. And it also does super sampled full HD playback. So I will come into some of this in another video if you want me to kind of go over all of it. But let's be honest, we're here to see what's inside the box because it's an unboxing video. So let's have a look. Now I picked this up in America. Um, if you don't really, if you didn't know, I was at the Acer event. Um, where they announced some new products in New York. So I figured while I was there, I might as well uh, pick one up because it was a lot cheaper in America. So you've kind of got your information guide, so you've got your English version, and yeah, probably not going to read much of that. We might read some of that, we might read some of that one. Because yeah, as you can see, I damaged the box a little bit, but yeah, shit happens, I suppose. So we'll take the actual camcorder out first of all. I'm going to say, it's quite a lot bigger than my current camcorder, um, which I'll try and do. I'll put a picture on Instagram of the size difference between them. And we'll take out the all these leads as well. So, can take them out really quickly. Right, so that is everything outside of the box, apart from a little bit of that. But apart from that, that is it. So, we'll put the box off to the side. And we'll bring all these little bits in. So, there's quite a lot of it. So, that's the main camcorder itself, which we'll show you in just a moment or two. So first of all, you get your battery, and as you can see, I've actually not played with it at all. Um, I figured I'm going to save it to get home. And the battery is the NP FV70, and the milliamp power on it is 1,960. Hopefully you can uh, see that on there. It's actually a pretty hefty battery, is that, to be honest with you. It's kind of like almost smartphone size battery in terms of the actual milliamp hours inside it. So let's take that off to the side. You get your charger, which is kind of Sony's proprietary kind of charger that goes into the back of the camcorder. And then you just need your um, 8 pin that goes into there. Now obviously because I bought it in America, mine has come with an American plug, which I've got plenty of these lying around, so I won't be needing that one at all. This I thought it was pretty cool. They actually give you the HDMI cable inside the box. Now, not many companies give you this, but I suppose for a quote-unquote $2,000 camera, it's about £1,700 in the UK, but yeah, I got it for a bit cheaper, $2,000 with the exchange rate. It's pretty nice you get that inside the box, so it's a nice little inclusion from Sony. You also get this, which is your extender. Now, on the camcorder, which I'll show you, it's got a built-in USB port. And this is an extender because the on the actual camera, it's not massive, but you can actually use this to extend it to make sure you can plug it into your computer or whatever you want to plug it into. You get a remote control, which I think is always nice. So nice little remote control there. So you can take pictures, um, data code it, which I think is pretty cool. You can actually record, zoom in and out, skip. Yeah, kind of control it all via that. Stick that there as well. This is one of the coolest things I thought you get included with it. And it kind of makes it look a little bit more professional, I suppose. You get a lens hood with it, which I think is pretty after, you know. Pretty little nifty little uh, option they give you there for note. And again, I say for nothing, you are paying quite a lot of money for this camcorder. But in the grand scheme of it, it's nice to get these little things inside the box that you don't normally get. So I'll stick that off to the side as well. But let's be honest, you're here to see this, aren't you? This stuff's, yeah, it's all cool and dandy. But you really want to see the star of the show. 
So here it is. Just pull it out there and pop it there. Chuck that bag off to the side. And yes, here is the beast. Yes. Now, um, you may not have seen the size of my camcorder I'm currently using, but it's like that big and it's like that. It's a hell of a lot smaller than this one. The main reason for that is pure the fact this is packing in so much inside there. It's got a much bigger sensor. It's got a much better um, kind of like um, lens system that's inside there. It's, I think it's got seven lenses inside it, which from what I've read um, offers great autofocus, which is what I'm wanting. But you also get that super sharp image with a great bokeh effect, which is kind of what we're all looking for. We like that kind of artsy look, but I don't want to do the whole artsy, artsy style, artsy, fartsy videos. It's just not something I like to do. So you see there you've got your 4K, you've got your zoom and your focus, which is like a nice little switch there. Your auto focus and your manual focus, so you can, uh, tell you what, I'll zoom in a little bit so we get a little bit closer to the camera itself. There we go. So as you can see, a little bit better now. So as we are showing you there, you get your zoom and your focus, your auto focus and your manual focus. This is like a little, um, it's a little ring. So it's actually like a little slider, kind of slides around. Now what that's for is for these controls here. So you can manually say, right, I want to go into full manual mode and change the iris. You want to change the gain slash ISO and the shutter speed. And then you go up and down with that, which I think is an awesome, awesome little idea. You can via do the touchscreen as well, but if you don't want to use the touchscreen, it's all here for you. Talking about the touchscreen, what we'll do is I'll give you a quick look at it now. And as you can see, it is a pretty mammoth sized screen. Now, I'm not going to turn on this video just right now. I just want to show you some of the other settings that's on here as well. So as you can see there, you've got your, it's just like your little play button. You've got your display, your power, your white balance, your night shot, and you can program that. Now in here is where your SD card will go. So it does take standard SD cards, but it also takes um, Sony's memory stick ones as well. And then you've got like a little um, HDMI port here and your headphone jack there. Now what's cool about these little flaps here is instead of them just kind of flapping around, they clip back in. So they're not just kind of flim around and not clip back in properly. They're proper solid, which is another kind of reason why I got this camcorder. It is just a very well-built camcorder. It's, I played with it for about an hour and about an hour or so in B&H Photo in New York, and I fell in love with it straight away. So yeah, big props to Rich from B&H Photo for you know, showing me the camcorder and letting me play with it for quite a while. And let's close that. Let's have a quick look on the back of it here. So you've got your auto and your manual, which I've honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what that's for. I think that might have regards to just the whole auto function of the actual camcorder. I'll have to look it up. You've got ND filters. So if you are recording in bright sunlight, you can actually put your filters on there, which will help you not kind of like get some kind of lens flares and it'll kind of just make it look a lot nicer. Obviously your battery will pop into there, which we'll uh, do for you now. So the battery just pops into there. I think it just kind of just slide in. Yep, there we go. That's nice and easy. So you've got your power input here. This is how you actually charge the battery and actually control, you can actually power the device on um, just via the main, which I think is always cool. And it's another reason why I got this over some other camera camcorders. A lot of people are getting the Panasonic GH4 Again, I wanted an all-in-one solution. This offers everything in one. I don't have to get a different lens to do this, do that. This is it, all-in-one, that's exactly what I wanted. You get your start to stop button for starting and recording, uh, starting and stopping recording either. Um, you, you can actually change through between pictures and also your video mode. At the top here, as you can see there, it's got a little power an indicator. Uh, so it tells you when it's actually turned on and when it's charging it. On the top of the device, you've got your little photo button. So this does take 20 megapixel images. So if you've seen pictures from my Instagram, ones that I've used the Sony RX100 Mark II, this uses the same sensor. Um, from what I can see, it takes very similar pictures. I don't know if I'd want to use this in my camera, but it's cool the functions there just to kind of you know give you a quick shot. Jumping back onto the back of it here, you've got your, um, what you call the um, your EVF, your electronic viewfinder, if I can actually pull it out. And what that does is, instead of actually having to use a screen, but first time I've turned it on, you can actually view in there, and it's got like a little, um, what, do you, what do you want to call it? It's like a little sensor, so when you bring it up to your eye, don't know if you can see it, it might show you. You probably can't see it right now. Um, what it does, it actually makes sure you can use that instead of having to use a screen. So if you're in bright sunlight and you want to get a you know, bit of a better kind of um, 
representation of the whole image, you can use the EVF instead, which is an OLED EVF, which apparently is one of the best out there again. As you can probably tell, I'm not the best with camcorders and cameras. Um, it, I am still very new to it. I'm more about the smartphones and that kind of stuff, but I am going to learn more about this one. Jumping onto this side, not much to be seen here, but I was telling you in regards to the USB cable. Here it is. The USB cable is built into it. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, it's not very long, which is a bit of a disappointment. They could have had it where it pulled out further. Um, I did try and pull it, and I didn't. I think, yeah, I won't pull it much harder. But I suppose it's built into the camcorder, and it's there for you. You get your little NFC uh, micro, um, memory stick and your SD card. So if you want to pair this up to your phone, just tap your phone into it there. Job done. Away you go. And you've got your focus magnifier. So as you're doing like a video, if you need to kind of magnify and zoom in a little bit, you can zoom and get your perfect focus and then carry on with it, which I think is a nice little addition. Jumping on back to the top of it, I forgot to show you this, the zoom in and zoom out. See that there? And this is their little... Um, Multi-face adapter is the thing they call it. So yeah, you can't really get um, any standard kind of like accessory in there, which I'll show you now. So I've got like a microphone. It's a Sony microphone, but it just can't fit in there because it's too small. So yeah, you're going to have to get official Sony um, branded stuff um, officially for these camcorders to kind of use there. And it's also got your 5.1 surround sound as well. Now, the biggest aspect of it on the front of it it is that Carl Zeiss lens, and I think it's the Sona, there we go, the, the Vario Sona T, I think it's the T-Star, yeah, and it's apparently very, very good um, kind of imagery, which we'll soon see, won't we, let's be honest, let's pop that pack on there, and then finally, just on the bottom of it, you've got your little um, threaded mount, so you can actually put onto a tripod, and you can take the actual battery off there, so just take the battery off, just kind of pull it down, job done, and away it goes, so yeah, that is it, that has been the unboxing and the first look, first tour of it, kind of around the device itself. Now it's been a bit longer than most of my unboxings, but I want to show you all around the camcorder just to kind of give you a full look of it. And let's be honest, I'm still not showing you everything. You've got your IR blaster there and obviously the Sony little badge there as well. So yeah, I mean, that is the unboxing. If you have any questions about this or anything else, you know what to do by now, hit me up down below. Now, I am going to be learning how to use this camcorder to its full potential. And again, I don't think I'll do much 4K, but I will dabble with 4K and I'll put some video samples up of this camcorder and we'll do, we will see what they like. But for now, that is my unboxing of this Sony. I think it's the FDR AX100. We're just going to call it the AX100. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to hit me up on Twitter, I'm at Sam J. Pullum. If you're new to the channel, then please do hit the subscribe button just there or just down there. And if you enjoy my videos, then please hit the like button. It really does help. Anyway, thanks for watching and you'll see me in my next one. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.